y'all this story time i'm gonna go all into detail with it make sure y'all like comment and subscribe for me okay so it was like a tuesday or a wednesday my doctor had just told me ob that's what we call it he had just told me if you like three centimeters dilated you going to the hospital you getting induced so i was just like Okay, so I'm gonna get induced today. I had one walking the day before, and I was just like, I just knew I was gonna have that baby. Them babies. <laughs> oh my god, I'm messing up. But you know, it's a twin birth story. So if you know, you know. But I just knew I was gonna have them babies. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I said, so I'm going to the hospital today. They like, um, no, you're not even one centimeter dilated. I said, what? Doctor, check one more time for me. <laughs> so he checked one more time and he like, nah. You're, You're not even one centimeter dilated. You just ain't. What's wrong, Nana? Nah, nah. That's one of the twins right there. Okay, so yeah. He checked again. And so he went to the other room and he was like, okay. He was discussing it with the nurses and stuff. And he was like, all right, so I'm going to do shoot a Friday. And I'm like, nah, they got to come today. I'm not waiting till Friday. You sending everybody else to the hospital but me. Why I got to wait till Friday? So I get out the um, doctor. I call this. This lady, I call my mama. She like a mother to me for real, for real. I work with her and whatever. Anyways, so I call her and I said, he not trying to send me to the hospital. He not trying to induce me. She like. Just drink the castor oil. I said, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't drinking no castor oil. Mm-mm. Like, I did it with all my kids. And she got like five or six kids. I said, nah, I'm not drinking castor oil. I'm, I don't heard stories. I don't watch the video. I, I'm not drinking the castor oil. I'm not doing it. So I started watching videos again. Started watching um the videos about the midwife's brew. I think that's what it's called. And I was going to do that. But I couldn't find all the ingredients for the midwife's brew. So, yeah. I walked to that stuff. Because I'm like, I got to wow. I got to work for these babies. I got to get these babies out of here today. So, I walked to the stove. I got the castor oil. She said, get the castor oil, get the hot coat. So, I got the castor oil and a hot coat. She said, yeah, take a, what was it, a, um, a cap full? And I said, I'm not doing that. That's just, no, I'm not doing that. So I took a half of a cap full, not a full cap full, but a half of a cap full. It did not work. I took it without Coke the first time. Cause I'm like, if I take it without Coke, it's going to work. So I took half of a cap full and laid it down. Laying down was the worst thing I could have ever done. My stomach was toe up. First of all, my stomach was toe up. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach was toe up for real. So I laid it down. Nothing, no action, no contractions or nothing. I was just like, you know what? It looks like I'm having my baby when the doctors say I'm having my baby. I give up. I got to be patient. I can't be rushing these babies. They going to come when they want to come. So you, I might as well wait. So, um... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> so, yeah. They ain't come. It ain't work. So, I tried it again. She told me to try it again. This time, actually take a cat full. So, I took a cat full with the hot coat. Y'all. Not even 20 minutes later, I was contracting like crazy. I was like, okay, these babies finna come. They ready. These babies finna come. Yes. I want to pack my baby bags. I was like, oh, yeah. It's time. It is time. They getting evicted today, baby. They got that eviction notice. It ain't coming. They got to be served today. So, um, I decided to walk to my job and let my boss know, like, hey, I ain't coming back. You might as well start my maternity leave right now. I'm contracting and I'm finna go to the hospital. They're like, oh my gosh, you finna have the babies? I'm like, yep. They said, you ready? I said, yes, I am. 
I was like, okay, because you was in here. Oh, mean. And stuff. I'm like, nah, it was the babies. <laughs> it wasn't me, I promise. It was like, all right, I can't wait till you come back. I was like, I can't wait either. Come on, Nana. She want to come. <laughs> come on. You want to finish telling the story with Mommy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Come on, you can come too, DJ. I get home and I asked my daughter, I said, you want to try some yoga? She said, what's that? I said, we finna look on YouTube and find out today. Because I heard that word. So, we started doing yoga. <laughs> we was doing all type of stuff. We done made our own little mat. Because we ain't have no mat at home. We done started doing yoga. We went outside to my apartment. So, we walked around like 20 times. I was like, this ain't going to work, but whatever. Man, <laughs> man, say hey. <laughs> Next thing I know, um, my back started hurting. The contraction started hitting harder, and we we um went back to the building I stayed in. It started running up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, and I was like, "That's it, I'm done." I ran up and down them stairs like three times. I was like, "Okay, I'm done for. Like it's over with. I can't do it no more." So, we went in the house, ate, took baths and all that, laid down. Dang, DJ. <laughs> we laid down, and it was like, I'm going to say like 4 in the morning or 3 in the morning, something like that. I just felt a pop in my underwear, and I'm like, what's that? I'm like, dang, I think I done peed on myself. <laughs> I don't want my baby daddy up like, hey, wake up. I don't know what's going on. He's like, yeah, you probably just peed on yourself or something. I said, why would I pee on myself? What the heck? So, um, I had got up. It was water coming down my leg. And I'm like, this weird. Because, y'all, my water ain't never break. I never, never broke on its own. Never. So, um, I went to the bathroom and I just started gushing out water. I'm like, bro, I'm in labor. These babies is coming. I was like, oh, my God, bro. Wake up. I'm finna have these babies. They finna come in the apartment. Like, <laughs> yes, I was talking about you, DJ. Y'all was finna come. So, um, yes, you too. Now I want to get in the camera. So I was like, wake up. These babies finna come. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I said, I don't even want to push them out. I'm like, how am I going to push out two babies? I'm scared. So um, I called his mama, and she like, I don't know what you called me for, like, did she say it like that? I don't know. She wasn't being rude, but she like, you just need to call the ambulance, pretty much. So, um, I called the ambulance, and they was, they was like, don't sit down. Get off the toilet. Don't sit down. Don't, that's the wrong thing to do. You can have them babies on the toilet. Anything can happen. So, I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, um, I got up, was walking around panicking, and I was like, okay, I don't got my, I got they stuff at, but where my stuff at? Because I didn't think I was going to have them that soon. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, I was walking around panicking. I said, like, hey, I'm telling the people on the phone, they're like, stay on the phone with me, don't hang up. And I'm like, I don't have my stuff ready. They're like, just grab some stuff, just throw some stuff in, they on their way. So, next thing you know, they bust through the door. Hey, where, it, uh, get on the stretcher. So, I got on the stretcher. I was like, oh my God, I got bad anxiety. It's all these men around me. And I'm like, they're like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, man, I'm ready to just have this baby. <laughs> these babies. I keep saying this baby. So I'm so used to pushing out one baby. But, but I'm like, I'm just ready to have these babies. Get me to the hospital. So we get in the ambulance. My baby daddy dropped my kids off to my mama house. The, when I was telling y'all about at the beginning, my work mama. He dropped her off there because she stayed in the same apartments as us. And he dropped them off there. And their grandma came and got them. And what else happened? I'm trying to remember. I got a good memory. Like, it's it's good. Good, vivid memory. Like, I can remember me standing in that living room. But, um, yeah. So, he dropped them off. They said he couldn't ride in the ambulance. So, he came. He followed the ambulance in the car pretty much. And... We got to the hospital. Now, when we got to... Why are you taking his bottle, too? You got your... No, you can't take his bottle. You got some... Liquid. No. Hold on. This is what they do. They be snatching bottles. Uh, you got a bottle right here, Nana. 
a whole bottle and you're gonna try to take his really but um yeah oh he said no cameras please but it's okay all right back to the story so we get to the hospital i'm contracting real real bad yeah it was real real bad like two contract two babies contracting with two babies is different than one it was like i feel like i was gonna die i'm not gonna lie it was real real bad i could not take the pain i told these people that i wanted to have them natural <laughs> i lied because they been asking like you want an epidural no because i had my second baby with no epidural or nothing she was natural so i just thought i could do it with two well I, I, hey can y'all bring that epidural on here please can y'all hurry up please I need y'all to stick that in my back right now. And I need some medication. I need everything. And she's just like, ma'am, calm down. You need to wait. And I'm like, uh-uh. I need some medicine right now. What yeah. you mean I need to wait? It's not time yet. It's not time. I guess because I wasn't dilating enough. Like, they was that nurse, I did not like her. She didn't get me what I needed. I was just in so much pain for a long time. It was the worst. I went to Temper General Hospital. That nurse ain't gonna be worse. I was in pain for a long time. And then they finally moved me to my room where I was. Well, for twins, it's different. You know, they put you in a regular room where you have one baby. But for twins, they move you like the two rooms. Like, why y'all doing all that? Why? So, ooh, they moved me to the delivery room where the people with the twins go. It's like a regular room and a C-section room at the same time. So, they finally moved me to the room. It was time. It was about maybe 9-ish, 10-ish. They moved me to the room, and I was nervous. Okay, before I get to this part, my iron was extreme, extremely low, like death, like real low. My doctor was like, um, when the last time have you had your iron check? I said, I go to the doctor every week. I'm high risk. They like, yeah, um, it's not looking good for you. So we have to do an emergency transfusion before you had this baby because you can like, I don't want to say it, but yeah, it was very bad. My iron was super low. I forgot what number it was, but it was super low. I had to have a transfusion. I never had a blood transfusion. So I was nervous about that. And I'm like, okay, just do it. Whatever. Give me the transfusion. So I got that done. Then it was time to have the babies. They pushed me to another room. They let me know if anything goes wrong, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, one might have to be cut out or whatever. And I'm like, no, I'm going to push them out. They, you know. They're going to come out. They're going to come out just fine. So, we get in the room. We get in the room. This one want to turn around. I push DJ out. I push him out. He's fine. Then my heart started dropping. Like my heart started dropping. So, all I remember is them rubbing that stuff on my stomach. And I was out of there. I hear her, they was like, she's not coming out, she's not coming out. They was trying to grab her, like the doctor put his hand in me. He was trying to grab her, he used the thing, he did everything he could to get her out. She, she was not trying to come out. She wasn't. Um, um, and I believe she was baby A. I believe she was baby A. So she was supposed to come out first. But he came out first. So he tried everything he could to get her out, she just was not with it. So that's why they did the C-section and she came, came out. out. Hey, <laughs> she came out. I was so happy when I finally realized that she was, they was both here. They was healthy or whatever. When he had, came out, I did not hear him cry. I was like, is my baby okay? Like, what he, is he okay? Cause all I remember was seeing him over there to the side. They was cleaning him up. But I never heard him cry. But I think I was just so out of it that he was crying. And I just ain't know. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they had me on all type of medications just to have me numb. And so I won't be able to, you know, feel all that pain. But I low-key could feel them cutting my stomach. I could low-key low feel that. So I don't think they did a good job numbing me. 
I felt it. <laughs> but yeah, that's how that went. And then afterward, my boyfriend was like, he was like calling his mama, like, what am I going to do? He was so like scared during this whole, while this was going on, while I was having surgery and stuff. They wouldn't let him get in. They rushed him out. After I had DJ, they rushed him out, made him stand outside and... He was scared. He, cause the doctors ain't tell him what was going on at the moment. All he heard was my heart was dropping. They rushed him out. They closed the curtains and did what they had to do. And then, yeah, um, after they got her out, we had to wait in a recovery room forever. These people give me my baby, and I'm drugged up. Like my baby's falling out my hand. Like I'm holding her. I'm weak. I'm weak, y'all. Um, two weeks holding the baby she's sliding on my hand i'm like hey i know y'all got me on these drugs but can y'all get my baby like they're like no she has to bond with you i said what you mean is two of them you got me holding one right here and you got me trying to hold the other one i can't hold these babies so um yeah i had to tell her to get them but she went and get them because she said um that's how it works that's protocol and i'm like that's stupid i said well can the daddy hold the babies they said no you have to hold them so we went in the room and you know if y'all have babies y'all know what they do y'all know what they do after that you know i had to stay i had to stay for three or four days i had trouble walking like my healing it was i didn't want to get out the bed i was so depressed i didn't want to walk it, I was in so much pain. I think the worst part of having twins was the C-section. That was my very first C-section and the healing process. I didn't want to eat. I was constantly throwing up. It was, oh, it was crazy. So, yeah, that's my birth story. That's my how I induce my labor story. I hope y'all enjoy Please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe.